Begin your Sardinian adventure at number 10 with the Nuragez, ancient stone dwellings that dot the landscape. These impressive structures hark back to the Bronze Age, a testament to the island's rich history. They're not just simple stone buildings, their unique architectural style tells a story of a sophisticated civilization that once thrived here. The Nuragas were built by the Nuragic people, a civilization that lived on the island from the 18th century BC. And you can't talk about the Nuragas without mentioning Su Nuraxi and Barumini. It's the most famous Nuragi in a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Standing in its presence you'll feel a deep connection to the past, a sense of awe. These stone towers, scattered across the landscape, are a symbol of Sardinia's ancient past and an essential part of its cultural identity. The Nuragis offer a window into Sardinia's ancient past, setting the tone for the rest of your journey. At number 9 step into history at Theros and the Sinus Peninsula. Theros, an ancient city hailing from the 8th century BC, whispers tales of civilizations long past. It's an archaeological treasure trove, where every stone, every artifact tells a story. Nestled by the sea this city was once a bustling hub of culture and commerce, a testament to the rich tapestry of human history. Now let's journey to the Sinus Peninsula. This slice of Sardinian paradise boasts an array of natural parks, each more breathtaking than the last. Imagine pristine beaches where the azure waves kiss the shimmering sand, a haven of tranquility away from the hustle and bustle of city life. The Sinus Peninsula is a celebration of nature's raw, untamed beauty, a place where the air is fresh, the views are stunning, and the vibe is serene. Theros and the Sinus Peninsula combine natural beauty with rich history, making it a must-visit spot. Coming in at number 8, discover the Catalan charm of Alghero. This coastal city greets you with its medieval walls, standing as a testament to its rich history. As you stroll through the cobblestone streets you can't help but notice the unique blend of Italian and Catalan cultures that permeate every corner of this city. But Alghero's allure doesn't stop at its walls. Venture a bit further, and you'll find some of the most beautiful beaches Sardinia has to offer. Crystal clear waters, golden sands and the warm Mediterranean sun create a picture-perfect setting for a day of relaxation. And let's not forget about Neptune's Grotto. This marine cave is one of Alghero's crown jewels. Named after the Roman god of the sea, this enchanting cavern is sure to leave you in awe with its impressive stalactites and stalagmites. Alghero, with its stunning views and vibrant culture, is a destination you won't want to miss. Number 7 takes us off the mainland to the untouched beauty of Asinara Island. Rich in history and natural splendor, Asinara Island is a true gem of the Mediterranean. Once a high-security prison and a quarantine station, the island has undergone a remarkable transformation. It's now a national park, a sanctuary where nature has been allowed to reclaim her dominion. The island's past is still visible in the abandoned buildings, but it's the wildlife that truly steals the show. The most famous residents, the albino donkeys, a unique species that has become synonymous with Asinara. These charming creatures with their snowy coats and gentle demeanor roam freely across the island, a delightful sight for any visitor. But it's not just about the donkeys. The island is a haven for diverse species, from wild boars to marine life, offering a unique wildlife experience. Asinara Island's pristine landscapes and fascinating history make it a standout destination. At number 6, prepare to be stunned by the rugged beauty of the Iglesiente coast. Renowned for its dramatic cliffs that plunge into the azure Mediterranean Sea, this stretch of Sardinia's coastline is a sight to behold. Picture this, secluded coves nestled between towering rock formations, each more breathtaking than the last. The area's beauty is enhanced by a dash of intrigue, with abandoned mines hinting at a rich and complex history. But the Iglesiente coast isn't just for sightseers, it's a paradise for those with a taste for adventure. The rocky terrain provides ideal conditions for hiking and rock climbing. Imagine traversing the cliff tops, the wind in your hair, the salty sea air filling your lungs, the thrill of the climb propelling you forward. It's an experience that's as invigorating as it is unforgettable. For outdoor enthusiasts, the Iglesiente coast is a dream come true. Halfway through our countdown at number 5, we find the colorful town of Bosa. Nestled along the Tamo River, Bosa's streets burst with rainbow-colored houses, creating a vibrant tapestry of life. The town's medieval castle stands sentinel over the landscape, whispering tales of the past. A stone's throw away, pristine beaches beckon with their turquoise waters. 
Bosa also boasts a rich tradition of intricate lace-making, a testament to the artisan spirit of its inhabitants. Bosa's charm lies in its vibrant streets and rich traditions. Before we continue to our top four, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment about your favorite site so far. By doing so, you're not only supporting our work, but you're also becoming part of a community of travel enthusiasts. Now, let's dive back into our countdown. At number 4, immerse yourself in the medieval city of Oristano. Nestled on the west coast of Sardinia, Oristano is a city steeped in history, dating back to the ancient Phoenicians. Today, its narrow, winding streets and impressive architecture are a testament to its rich past. One of Oristano's most notable events is the annual Sartiglia Carnival. This vibrant spectacle, filled with traditional equestrian games, dates back to the medieval times. Participants dressed in historic costumes engage in daring horseback acrobatics, providing a captivating display of skill and bravery. Just a stone's throw away from the city, you'll find the Sinus Wetlands. This protected area is a haven for bird watchers and nature lovers. From flamingos to herons, the wetlands are teeming with a diverse array of bird species, making it a nature enthusiast's paradise. Oristano's rich culture and surrounding natural beauty make it a must-visit destination. Coming in at number 3, explore the vibrant city of Cagliari. This Sardinian gem, perched on the southern coast of the island, is a feast for the senses. Its rich historical tapestry is woven into the fabric of the city, with remnants of its storied past visible in the ancient Roman amphitheater and the medieval towers of the Castello district. Cagliari's beaches are a spectacle in their own right. Poeto Beach, with its golden sands stretching for miles, is a sun worshipper's paradise. But it's not all about history and sunbathing. The city's gastronomic scene is a delight for food lovers, with an array of local seafood and traditional Sardinian fare waiting to be savored. Don't miss a chance to explore the Castello district perched high above the city. The panoramic views from here are simply breathtaking, offering a stunning contrast between the azure Mediterranean Sea and the city's historic architecture. Cagliari's blend of history and modernity offers something for everyone. At number two, we venture to the serene Sant'Antioco Island. This tranquil haven is a testament to the gentle pace of life that has been preserved over centuries. It's a place where the old world charm meets the natural beauty of the Mediterranean. The island is strewn with ancient ruins that whisper tales of a time long past. The Phoenician and Roman ruins nestled amidst the rugged landscape take you on a journey through history, evoking a sense of intrigue and wonder. But Sant'Antioco is not just about the past, the present is equally captivating, the island's pristine beaches with their soft sands and crystal clear waters are a dream come true for any beach lover. And then there's the island's vibrant fishing culture. Traditional fishing methods are still in practice here, a testament to the island's rich heritage. The local fishermen with their nets cast wide paint a picture of simplicity and harmony with nature. Sant'Antioco Island offers a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of the mainland. And finally at number one discover the hidden gem of San Pietro Island. This island is home to the quaint town of Carlefort, a locale that exudes charm at every corner with its pastel-colored houses and narrow cobbled streets. Beyond the town you'll find stunning cliffs that plunge dramatically into the Azure Sea, creating a landscape that is as breathtaking as it is unique. But it's not just about the natural beauty here, the island has a rich cultural heritage, heavily influenced by Genoa. This is perhaps best exemplified in the annual Tuna Festival, a celebration of the island's fishing tradition, where you can taste the finest tuna dishes prepared with age-old recipes. San Pietro Island, with its breathtaking landscapes and rich culture, is the perfect finale to your Sardinian journey. So when you're planning your trip, make sure this enchanting island is on your itinerary. You won't regret it.